It's tool time, so here we go. Hey, I'm working on another project right now, but uh, I thought this would be a good time to uh, do a tool time video. Uh, so this is a chain breaker, and I got this one also at Harbor Freight. Uh, so I'm going to show you how this works. Um, I got to tell you right off the rip, I'm pretty happy with it as long as you know how to use it. Uh, so, you know, if you don't know how to use it, you can damage uh, the chain breaker tool itself, primarily uh, this little push pin that's in there. Uh, you can give do damage to it. So I'm going to show you how to use it. Um, and, uh, you know, I think you can pick these up for, I don't know, around 10 bucks at Harbor Freight. So, um, you know, this is a 50 size chain, um, and what you look for, the first thing in the chain breaker tool is, let me show you the components to it. So, you have this threaded push piece, and then inside of it you have a second threaded push piece that goes in. So, uh, I'll call this the, the main piston here. And this one's like the secondary. Uh, so if you take it apart, I'm going to be careful because there's a ball bearing inside of this thing. There it is. And then there's a spring and another pin. So you can see that's all there is to it uh, assembly wise. The pin, the ball bearing. So you put this in first. And then you take the ball bearing and you drop it in the top. Oops. I'm trying to do it where you can see it, but drop the bear ball bearing in the top and you just screw this piece in. Now, when you get ready to start doing your chain, you want to leave this only screwed in a little bit. So you'll notice that the secondary push rod. Uh, will slide in and out just like that. So you want to set it up so that if you're pushing in on this with your finger and you screw in this threaded piece like this that only about an eighth to a, maybe a quarter an inch of that is sticking out. So as you put it, push it with your finger, this is what you should have, about an eighth inch of this sticking out. And that's all. If you have more than this sticking out, it's likely you're going to damage this tool when you try to use it. So start it off like this, then back the larger one off all the way. Then take your piece of chain, you know, count how many links you're going to need. Now keep in mind that... Um, you look at the end, that's one link, that's two links. So this is actually two links, right? So you have to figure out which one of these pins you're going to push out to keep as many links as you need. In this situation, I've always already counted mine, and I marked which one I need to push out because I want to keep this bottom link right here. I'm going to push out that one. You normally want to keep the bottom or the inside link like this because on your master link it has to fit in two of these so your master link will go in here and the other one uh, to connect your end pieces of the chain so you should always be left with the end two ends both ends of the chain should look like this uh, so if I push this pin out right here I'm going to be left with this section and this section here will be removed now let me show you how to set this up and what we're going to do, uh, and you can either use a wrench here and a wrench here, um, or for me, I'm just going to use a couple sockets, and I'm going to use my impact. So um, in this situation, the large one here is 11 sixteenths, and the small one here is uh, 9 sixteenths, I think. Yep, 9 sixteenths. Okay, so let's get this set up. Now that I know the link that I'm going to push out, or the pin that I'm going to push out, I'm going to take the chain breaker tool, I'm going to put the bottom of it right in this hole, just like that. And I'm going to twist in on the large piston, like this. 
Now I'm going to try to keep it centered right on the pin as I do that. I'm going to do that by hand until it's tight. Now it's tight and I only have about a quarter inch of the large pin sticking out. Now you need to use the large section here as the pressure to go down through. If you try to turn the top part you're going to bend that pin and put a lot of additional pressure on there. So use the big one. So I'm going to take my larger deep well socket and I'm going to put it on there. Impact like this. I'm going to hold it. Now as I get it through there it's going to get tight and that will push it through the main part of the link. After that I can use the other size socket put on top and I'm going to push the pin the rest of the way through with it. Now you'll see here that the pin came out the bottom it'll come out right there at the bottom and now the chain separated so now I'm going to reverse it to loosen it up like that and loosen this part up done with the chain breaker tool and now you can see from the chain that the pin that was in there now came out after that you're just going to pull it apart and you're left with the end just like this and this is the end that uh, you take you took off this is the end that you just made so when you're all done you'll have two ends like that for your master link to go right into and that's how you use a chain breaker tool and you can see it works quick and efficient as long as you know what you're doing so hey uh, thanks for watching tool time Tuesday subscribe to my videos ring the bell talk to you soon